Now let us see a short trick. Uh, basically, you know what happens is a lot of students get confused uh, in constraint relation problems, right? They are not able to uh, tell the relation between the uh, acceleration of the two blocks. Let us see a similar problem, and uh, let us see how we will deal with this problem in an easier and simpler method using a simpler method basically now let us see uh, if these are the two blocks which are connected as shown let us call this block a let us call this block b right and let us assume that this block is accelerating in the down direction with an acceleration a1 and this is moving in the forward direction with an acceleration a2 right now you might have done different approaches i'm not sure which uh, which one you have done so what we will do over here is we will use another approach which is fairly very simple and very easy to use let us see what problem is uh, what concept is this now the concept says the concept uh, the basically the short trick the concept says work done work done by the tension in the strings by the tension in the strings or in the string in all frame of reference in all frame of reference is zero now what do you mean by this line work done by the tension what is the work done by the tension when a block moves and a force is being applied on it work is done on it right now let us see what kind of tensions are present if t tension is present in this string this should also be t there should also be t now since the pulleys are massless okay and the pulleys are massless that means net force on this should be zero f net should be zero if f net on this is zero that means in the downward direction the tension should be 2t right the tension should be 2t so that means on the block a an upward tension of 2t is acting and on block b a tension t is acting right now let us assume this moves in the downward direction x1 right and this moves simultaneously x2 right so it says that work done by the tension in the string now what is the work done by in the tension work done by the tension is 2t was acting upwards block a is moving downwards so what is the work done by the tension this is minus 2t into x1 because work done is f dot x right f dot x dot product now what is it is basically this is fx cos theta right now if we see in this case 2t is acting upwards and x1 is downwards so what is the angle between them it is 180 degree and cos 180 is what which is minus 1 so that means work done by the tension on the block a is minus 2t dot x1 and what is the work done by the tension on block b it is t dot x2 plus t dot x2 because t is acting in the uh, uh, forward direction and x2 is also in the forward direction now this is the net work done net work done by the tension in the string this should be equal to what zero in all frame of refer uh, reference means that you can even uh, you know uh, be standing in this position right you can observe the movement from this position or you can observe the uh, movement from the ground or from anywhere else right in all frames of reference right you can be standing in any point so this should be equal to zero now if we solve this equation we will get t into x2 should be equal to 2t into x1 or this will give us x2 should be equal to twice of x1 right now if we differentiate this equation with respect to t we will get v2 will be equal to twice of v1 where v2 will be the velocity of the block b and v1 will be the velocity of block a again we can differentiate we will get a2 is equal to twice of a1 so here we can easily get the you know uh, get the relation between the accelerations of the two blocks right now this was a relatively simpler problems but this concept makes things 
very simple in complicated problems as well you can try in other problems as well because uh, we will not be doing it here but you can try this method this method is very simple and it can be applied to almost all the problems and it will give you the exact answer generally we use the logical method and you know other methods that you might have done in your classroom programs or somewhere else or in the school but this method is very easy and it's very accurate it will never give you the incorrect results it will always give you the correct results if you apply you know the tensions in a proper manner right you have to see which te tension is acting in which direction right